It's uh, November the 9th and it's on the Muscarats and uh, it's a little bit nicer than yesterday. It's already warmer right now than what the temperature was all day yesterday. So hopefully it to be a little bit warmer this morning. So the deer will be a little more active. I hope. Um, not seeing much sign of run activity. I did notice a few scrapes that look like they've been hit in the last couple days. But other than that, it's been pretty slow. Uh, the consensus I get from everybody else is the same. So, but you just gotta put in your time and pray for a little luck. I did not see a deer walking out here. It's good or bad. Don't know. So I'm gonna sit here for a few hours. I have not said this at, at all this year. I think Carl and Cole sat in here a couple of weeks ago. On an afternoon hunt. Didn't see much, so it doesn't look good. I don't see much for track sign in here, but I can't go by that necessarily, I suppose, so. We'll see what happens. Afternoon. It is the afternoon of the 9th of November. Uh, I hunted this morning on the farm that I hunt on and seen a few deer, nothing too promising, but you gotta be out there right now. They're just gotta catch one in between does or catch one cruising, it's all you can hope for. Uh, deer movement has been pretty slow at best from what I'm seeing and what a lot of people are seeing, I guess, so. Anyhow, uh, this afternoon we're down at Carl's. Carl's filming with Cole. So, really hoping Cole gets an opportunity tonight. I'm, I'll keep hunting for a few days and keep after for a few more days and I'll probably be just about done myself, just getting to be that time of year I gotta start thinking about my out west trip coming up here in two weeks so get stuff ready for that so I'll probably hunt some yet this week and sure I'd love to be successful but you know I can't put one in front of me if it's just not there so if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be so anyhow uh, I'm in a spot tonight that I help Carl uh, clear out back uh, probably early early this past summer uh, we cut a path through the woods primarily a rut spot uh, it was a lot of work and I got ate by a lot of mosquitoes so anyhow we'll sit here and with a little luck maybe I'll get an opportunity tonight so stay with us outdoors this evening and tonight we are hunting it out of southwest Wisconsin on an evening hunt and 
gosh, we're looking at you possibly a buck tonight. And the wind's coming out of the west southwest, although it's not too windy tonight. Stay tuned and see what happens. Shoot him. Just pull it back. Pull it all the way back. What are you doing? Whenever they go behind something, that's when you draw. Okay. My shoulder was in the wrong position when I drew back when I started. You're what? All right, well, uh, I shot a buck here probably 40 minutes ago, hour ago maybe. Uh, we're just gonna go see, I thought I heard him crash, and we're gonna go check it out and see if we don't find him probably pretty quickly, we're probably gonna back out. So hopefully he is laying there dead. So. What's today? Today is November the 9th. <laughs> All right. And hopefully that works because last year was November the 9th. Oh, two years in a row. Two years in a row. Think this is the deer that went by coal? I'm pretty sure this is the deer that went by coal. Alrighty, well let's go see if we can find him.
Go ahead, Brian. All right, well, we got my buck recovered. Uh, he's a nice 10 pointer. I'm happy to meet him. <coughs> I appreciate Carl for uh, letting me come down and hunt on his property since uh, I hadn't been seeing much up where I've been hunting. And uh, he came through, oh, probably in the last 10, 15 minutes of shooting light. I did get it on film. Uh, it was rather dark. I just knew he looked like he was a decent deer. And uh, I'm happy to have taken him. So, uh, made a pretty good shot on him. We weren't sure last night by reviewing the footage, and so we backed out. But uh, it was a short, uh, probably five, ten minute recovery this morning. So, <laughs> how far was it? Uh, probably where we lost the last blood, probably about 12 yards. So, where we stopped. Where we stopped. <laughs> yeah. So, he was probably there last night. But, Better to be safe than sorry. I would have hated to push him, and and uh, as brushy as it is, uh, that would have not been fun. So glad we did what we did. And a lot of times they always say, "When in doubt, back out," and it pays. So he was right there this morning. <laughs>